Planet Dolan. From reenacting the Lord of the Rings to checking out your reflection in a window. Ooh. <laughs> mm. The Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the most embarrassing things somebody has seen us do. My name is Nixium, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Elise, the Snare Chick. One afternoon, Pandora decided to watch the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy from start to finish. When she got halfway through the second movie, her dad suddenly stormed in and said, Get your lazy ass outside and mow the lawn. Pandora dragged herself outside. As she was mowing, she started reciting lines from the Lord of the Rings. She even left the mower idling to reenact a battle scene. Thinking she was alone, she got really into it and jumped around killing hobbits with her imaginary hammer. She then looked up and let out an epic orc war cry. And that is when she noticed her dad and her neighbor had been watching her the entire time. They were staring at her like she belonged in an insane asylum. Pandora went bright red and tried to act like nothing happened. Number 9 was submitted by Shadow Lord. One time Pringle was coming home from college when he got the sudden urge to look at himself. He looked around and saw that the street was empty. Then he found a parked car with dark tinted windows and he started checking himself out. He thought, damn, I look good. Then he tilted his head and struck a few poses. Just as he was doing duck face, the car's window started rolling down. Pringle was so shocked, he jumped. Inside, there were two hot girls who pointed at him and laughed. One of them whistled at Pringle and shouted, Looking good, stud. Pringle was so ashamed that he ran all the way home. Number eight was submitted by Ms. Anonymous. One time, Doopy and her family took a trip to Reno. They were staying at a fancy hotel and spent most of their time in the pool. One afternoon, Doopy was swimming laps when she came across a lizard hanging out by the edge of the pool. Being young and curious, Doopy wondered what would happen if she dribbled spit onto its head. And so she did it. The lizard took it like a champ and barely reacted at all. Once her experiment was complete, Doopy looked up and saw a leathery skinned fat couple watching her from their sunbeds. They looked disgusted. Doopy suddenly felt really embarrassed. She learned an important lesson that day. Normal people do not dribble on lizards. Number seven was submitted by Keton 0801. Ever since he was born, Gurgak has been cursed with a deviated septum. This means he gets lots of gushy anime style nosebleeds. One time in seventh grade, he got a nosebleed in science class. At first, he thought it was just a runny nose, so he casually wiped it on his shorts. But when the teacher noticed he was dripping blood everywhere, Gurgak rushed to the nurse's office. The nurse was able to stop the bleeding, but Gurgak couldn't change out of his blood-stained shorts because the school had a very strict dress code, and he had nothing else to wear. So for the rest of the day, Gurgak had to walk around with this big old blood stain on his crotch. The other kids teased him all day long about getting his period, and, and he even got called Period Boy for the rest of the school year. It was a rough time for Gurgak. Number six was submitted by Random Cashier 75. One time, Spinal Palm got humiliated in front of the whole school at the end of the year dance. He was doing a couple's dance with this tiny girl from his class. The girl gave him a little spin, just like they had practiced all week, and Spinal Palm collapsed on the floor in pain. He started screaming that his shoulder was dislocated, and the whole dance had to be stopped. It turned out he had injured his shoulder during wrestling the day before. This little dance move was all it took to finish the dislocation. Uh, not that anybody in the dance hall knew that. They just laughed because they thought this tiny dance partner was too strong for him. In the end, Spinal Palm was rushed to the hospital and the school had to ban couples dancing. Number five was submitted by Freaky Ghost Girl. Melissa comes from a very strict household where all candy is banned. One day her friend gave her a big stack of leftover trick-or-treat candy. 
Melissa knew she wouldn't be able to get the candy in her house unless she hid it, so she stuffed it inside of her underwear. Her parents inspected her school bag and gave her the all clear, so she ran up to her room to dispose of the evidence. When she got there, Melissa shoved her hands into her pants to take out the candy just as her mom opened up the bedroom door. It looked really bad for Melissa, but she couldn't tell the truth or her candy would get taken away. The candy had made a big bulge in the back of Melissa's underwear, so her mom assumed that she had had an accident in her pants. Melissa was grounded for five weeks, but at least she got to eat all of her delicious candy contraband. Number four was submitted by Overkill97. One time, MKLM really needed to pee after drinking a whole bottle of water. He ran into the local library to use their bathroom. Now, when he finished, he went to wash his hands, but he noticed the tap was really old and stiff. He turned it as hard as he could and the water came blasting out. It went all over the basin and completely soaked the crotch of his pants. M. Kyle M. didn't want anyone to think he had just pissed himself, so he turned on the hand dryer and thrusted his crotch towards the hot air. At that moment, a man walked into the bathroom with his young son. M. Kyle M.'s face went bright red. He knew how bad seeing a guy drying his junk in a public library bathroom must have looked. He tried to explain that the sink had splashed him, but the man had already left to grab security. M. Kyle M. never went back to that library again. Number three was submitted by KK Bear 5529. When Ramona was a senior in high school, she took a very embarrassing fall in front of the entire school cafeteria. She had just been dumped by her boyfriend, so she decided to come to school looking her absolute best. To show him what he was missing out on, she put on heels, got her hair and makeup done, and wore the nicest dress she owned. At lunchtime, Ramona knew her boyfriend was looking at her, so she got her food from the cafeteria and walked confidently back to her table. But she was so busy strutting her stuff that she didn't notice a Jolly Rancher candy on the floor. She stood on it with her heel and fell right onto the floor. Her tray of food went flying and salad, slushy, and chocolate milk landed all over her. Ramona's ex-boyfriend and the entire cafeteria laughed at her. Her favorite dress was ruined, she had to go to the nurse, and she had to wear a cast for weeks because of how badly she had hurt her ankle. Number two was submitted by Moat of Labros. When Hellbent was a teenager, he liked to hang out in a place called the Clubhouse. It was an awesome hangout for stoners and runaways, and the place, well, let's just say a lot of crazy pranks happened there. One time, Hellbent was using the Clubhouse shower when someone quietly picked the lock on the bathroom door. Without Hellbent noticing, they snuck in, stole all of his clothes, and hung them at the top of the tallest tree outside. Hellbent had to walk through the house, butt naked. Then he had to go outside in the cold winter weather and climb the tree to get his clothes while everybody from the clubhouse laughed at him. It was definitely one of the most embarrassing moments of his life. And number one was submitted by me. I think the most embarrassing thing that somebody has seen me do is when my neighbor walked out of his house and beheld me trying to become a Super Saiyan in my backyard with my friend. We were standing there, face to face, screaming at the top of our lungs, calling out for the raw power of the ancient Saiyan bloodline to consume us in golden fury. Naturally, my neighbor had no idea what in the world we were doing, so he just thought we were freaks. And you know what? It was great. Alright, so a huge thanks to the folks over at our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. But we have another question for you. What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you at work? Let us know in the Reddit page linked below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Planet Dolan is now a video game. Play as Dolan, Melissa, and the rest of the PD crew collecting shinies to unlock skins and power-ups. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. Until next time. See ya!